Hi, this is Dawn Spence again, and I'm the teaching manager and part of the review crew for SPED Homeschool. Um, I'm today, I did my unboxing, and now I've had time to go over and look at all the parts of the algebra. So this is the Principles of Secondary Mathematics. This is their newer version. Um, I use the Legacy, which most people, uh, that's their original algebra. Um, so let me kind of start unpacking because this is way different than the original. Um, the original is more, um, you would watch a short video, um, your lessons would look more similar like to this. They would have a uh, space for your child to write out their problems, um, you might, you know, you would talk about vocabulary and all those things and you would practice and then you would do like usually an A through E and then you would test. Um, the way that this new program works is completely different. First of all, I will tell you, uh, get the digital pack. <laughs> um, the resources that are on there are phenomenal. Like they do online calculators, um, more paper to do because here is the big, one of the big differences that I saw as I was going through this. So you have to think about your student. Um, so the practices here, um, this is the instructor. Let me grab the student one. Um, okay, so part A. So they have videos for everything. And I really like that. So an instructor goes over everything with you and you fill in these notes. So first of all, each chapter does an objective and why you're learning that. That's pretty good to explain to a student who may, may, not, may or may not be that interested in math and why am I learning this? Well, you've got your box there. Then you have a warm up where you can kind of see what your student may, may already know. They may look at this vocabulary and not know it, and that's okay because that's what you're going to learn in the meat of the lesson. But what I liked about it is um, every lesson is set up the same way. So you're going to watch a video. These are guided notes. So you don't have to be there with your student. Your student, um, when I was going through the videos, it said like you're more of a guide at approach. So if you're wanting a more step back, let your child do this on the video and then you kind of monitor them and give them guidance as needed, then this would be the plan for you. So you would do all the notes about like the first chapter is rational and irrational numbers and they go really in depth of understanding what that is. And then they'll do an example. So you'll fill that out. Then they'll do a checkpoint. So, okay, did you gather all the information? Are you understanding it? And can you apply it? And then they're gonna go into the next part. And you're gonna start talking about classifying the numbers. And again, there's example three, example four and checkpoint. And all of these are done on the video so that your student is very well guided through the lesson. Now, the part that's different here is practice one. So practice one, you are going to write these problems on a separate sheet of paper. So that's a big part that's different compared to the old one. Um, they do give you, like, I noticed they have the number lines and whatever paper you might need um, is provided on, on the digital tool so you can print it out if your student really wants to do that part. There's graphing papers, there's a calculator. So for each lesson, they give you tools that you're going to need just for that lesson, which I thought was really cool. So then they have practice one, and then they have a mastery check. So you're gonna see, did they really understand it? So um, you, it says for the practice one, you might wanna do some of these with your student, but you really wanna make sure when you get to mastery that um, they're doing it. So they talked a lot about mastery. 
and how um, making sure that your student is complete to a mastery level before you go move on to the next one. Um, and they provided on the back of, of here's your formula sheet that I showed you when I unboxed. They have, are they exceeding mastery, progressing, or they need practice? So maybe you're not a a teacher that really knows how, okay, is my student really understanding this algebra? I don't know. So you can go back to this chart and go, oh, hmm. they can show and explain their work. They can do all that. But if they're confused and they don't understand, I need to ask too many questions. I need to watch the videos again. Then you know that they need more practice and they provide that as well. Some more extra practice. So another thing that I really liked that hasn't is guidance for like, okay, so how much lesson time should each lesson take me? Um, they also do a quick start guide. You're gonna do part A, part B, do the objectives. Do your so this this is going to explain what you're going to learn, your objective, your warm up, your video, your guided notes, your objective. So it walks you exactly through it. And one of the cool things is uh, before your student starts, there's a scavenger hunt where they show you how you can go through the book with a student so they understand. So to kind of a you know a fun way to get to know the curriculum and what they're expecting. Other thing that I liked. So I use the other algebra for my first, um, for my son, and then I will probably be using this with my daughter because she usually needs a little bit more explanation. So, um, yeah, I think it, uh, I like the fact that it goes over vocabulary and it really breaks it down. So if your student is like, I don't understand algebra, there's too many concepts, this is the great way to go. Um, so it has a five-day pacing guide and then a six-day pacing guide. Um, so I did some math. If you've got 30 lessons times six, it's going to take you, you know, approximately 180 days to get that down. But it gives you that guide um, whether you want to do five-day. It also um, has some questions over here like, okay, how should I pace my student? Okay, so here's some things to consider. In your instructor handbook, um, with the problems, there's a mastery check. There's what, you know, what are some things that your student should be able to do at this point? Here are some extra tips. Here are some other things that you can do if they're struggling. Um, it, it might even tell you to go back to explore the digital pack to see where there's additional activities for this lesson. Again, I would not suggest, I would highly recommend doing the digital pack with this um, because I think just having that person. And then two, this is more hands off where you can just say, okay, I want you to go watch video A, take your notes. Um, and you may need to do the notes with them for a couple of times till they get used to the process. Um, they, uh, you know, there's just all different kinds of, now, one thing I did notice that I want to bring up to you is in the test booklet, they have all the tests, but make sure you go to the back because <laughs> it has all the lesson answers. So you want to take that out. What they suggest is that you tear the test out and give them to your student. If that bothers your student and they like to have everything, then I would probably take the test answers out and just put them to the side. Um, also, if you want to see how um, it is, like how they found that answer, you can go back to the DigiTools and it will tell you that. Also for the unit, it provides unit test, a midterm, and a final. And on those problems, it actually tells you which lesson to go back. So that maybe if all your student messed um questions on chapter or lesson 10, then you go, oh, okay, maybe that's where I need to go back and um, redo that lesson or do some more practice. Um, 
I think that looking over all this, and it took me a while to kind of unpack it because it's very different than what I'm used to doing. But even though there's a lot of movable parts, there's more support through this. And they actually on the digital tool, tools too, they give you a video about um, each part of it, of the digital tools, how to use those. Um, how to um, use each section of the lesson. So um, that's one thing I like about Matthew C is that you're not just on your own. There's lots of support. Um, I mean, just having an online calculator, having graph paper at your disposal that you don't have to go out and buy, um, line paper, whatever you're needing. They actually, on the digital too, they have like the blocks and all those things that you might need all at your fingertips. So in my opinion, I think this uh, Algebra 1 uh, meets the needs for kids who need more explanation, who need things broken down, who uh, need that vocabulary and everything broken down so that they get the grand concept. Um, then if you have learners that are quick to learn, they don't need to know the concept as much or the vocabulary as much, they're, they can just listen to the demi tape and move forward. Then you might wanna think about the legacy. But a lot of times for our kiddos who are strugglers, we need to break things down and having a pacing and being able to watch somebody else work it out um, is a great tool. Um, and one of the other things I forgot, I almost forgot to tell you is the kids have to actually tell you and verbalize how they solve the problem. So in a lot of ways, I think this is definitely going to help your auditory learners, your, um, your, you know, the ones that need to verbalize things, and then also your tactile kinesthetic because you're going to be working things out. So overall, I'm very impressed with this Algebra 1, this, um, the actual name of it. So when you go online, you can still get the legacy, which is the uh, former um, regular uh, Algebra 1 that they've sold for years. But this one is called the Principles of Secondary Mathematics. And it also has like um, a guide to know like what they should know before you start this. So um, they've thought of a lot of things like you're, you're, you're going to know what your child is learning each step of the way. So I'm excited about using this um, and next year for my daughter. So um you can go online and check it out. Uh, they have all kinds of ways where you can look at things before you have to purchase. So take a look at both sections and see what you think. But I'm very impressed with how this should help our kids who need that little extra support. So again, this is Dawn Spence. I'm with the review crew and the teaching manager at Sped Homeschool. And uh, check this out. Go to matthewc.com and check out Algebra 1.